Yes, guys. Good evening to all. I will not take the guys to the Dunhill Signal Station. Once again, well, not the Dunhill Signal Station, the Lion at Dunhill, sorry. Which is sitting on the hillside here at Dunhill. In St. George. So, this is the way to the signal station, the Gun Hill signal station. The signal station is just behind here on top, further around the corner, up the hill. But you can, this is a one way street, so vehicles are supposed to only come down. In this direction, but some people still come up, but it's supposed to only come down. So I am heading towards the lion statue. I'm looking back down the hill. You see all into the St. George Valley. From here. So this is the lion which was carved in 1868 by Captain Henry Wilkinson, who was an officer at Gun Hill Signal Station. The statue, I will tell you a little bit about this statue. I will tell you a little bit about this lion statue. It was carved in 1868 by Captain Henry Wilkinson, who was an officer at the Gun Hill Signal Station. The statue depicts the lion resting his paw on a big red round ball, which is supposed to be a globe. So, a bit about that story. <laughs> it is about the lion representing Britain, the white lion representing Britain, ruling the whole world. Britain ruled the whole world, almost the whole world at one point in time. Parts of Africa, the, even the United States was a part of Britain colony first, before the rest and the others took over. So even the Caribbean is was is mostly ruled was mostly ruled by Britain, most of the Caribbean islands. So that is what it represents. The ball, the globe is supposed the red ball is supposed to be the globe, which is supposed to be the whole world. And the lion is resting his paw mean that he has control over the whole world. So I hope you guys understand it. <clears throat> I will walk further up now. So you guys. So yes guys. That is what that lion statue represents. So this red ball is the globe. Or the whole world. And his paw is on the ball. Meaning that he has control over the whole world. The whole world. The lion represents Britain. So again, now about the parish of St. George, 
St. George is in the center of the island. It can best be referred to as the heart of Barbados or the central uplands of Barbados. So St. George has no sea nor coastline in it. St. George was carved out of the parish of St. Michael between 1640 and 1641. So St. Michael is the mother parish and St. George was carved out of it. St. George is 1,975 acres. St. George is also an agricultural parish. It is the breadbasket parish of Barbados. And it is also the parish where you can get your own provisions sold at plantations in the parish, like Buckley Plantation, Constant Plantation, Buttles Plantation, Valley Plantation, Sweetville Plantation. And Brighton Plantation, if I haven't mentioned that as well, which is to the south of St. George over here. So this is St. George North that I'm in. St. George is divided into two constituencies, St. George North and St. George South. From here you can get a good view over to mostly the south of the island. This is Christ Church and a bit of St. George. You can see the whole St. George Valley landscape here. And you can see into the western side of the island, into Bridgetown along Carla Bay you can see the central bank of Barbados which is in town, Bridgetown St. George is also my father's birth parish St. George is the parish in which my father was born and raised for those of you who don't know who my father is such more that sings or that used to sing years ago with the sand pebbles is my father and he arrived from the beautiful parish of St. George and before I close the Dunhill signal station is the highest point in this parish you can see the signal station here Dunhill signal station and that is the highest point in this parish of St. George So, give you another view of the land now, looking down the hill. Thank you guys for watching now, and have a blessed evening. Stay tuned for more videos of Barbados.